السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على حبيبنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم In Surah Al-Ma'arij, Allah paints a picture for us of somebody that he is displeased with, somebody that is going to be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala يوم القيامة, on the Day of Judgment. This person Allah is angry with for the way they live their life in this world and that they worshipped other than him. Allah Azza wa Jal says, يُبَصَّرُونَهُمْ يَوَدُّ الْمُجْرِمُ لَوْ يَفْتَدِي مِنْ عَدَابِ يَوْمِئِذٍ بِبَنِيهِ They will see one another and the criminal, the wrongdoer that day will wish that he or she could give as ransom in place of them to be punished, their own children. They would rather Allah Azza wa Jal take their children from them and punish their children than they themselves be punished. They see the punishment before them and they're so terrified they're willing to even give up their children. But Allah Azza wa Jal would never accept that, would never exchange somebody else's punishment on behalf of somebody else. Then Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَأَخِي And even his wife or brother, this person to get out of being punished would give up their children, give up their wife, give up their brother, and have them punished in their place. SubhanAllah. وَفَصِيلَتِهِ الَّتِي تُؤْوِيهِ and the ones that sheltered him and took care of him were there for him through thick and thin. This person to get out of being punished would even push them forward. SubhanAllah. And then Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَمَنْ فِي الْعَرْضِ جَمِيعًا ثُمَّ يُنْجِي And whoever on the face of the earth, the entire earth's population, if this person had it their way, they would push everyone forward in place of them being punished, subhanAllah. They're just trying to get out of the punishment because they are terrified. But Allah Azza wa Jal says, Kalla innaha lava. Allah says, no, there's no escape from this. Innaha lava. For indeed it is a flaming burning fire, subhanAllah. This is the imagery of the person when they finally are being held accountable for the way they live their life, for living a life that was displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not following the commands of Allah azza wa jal, worshipping uh, other than Allah azza wa jal, subhanAllah. And something that's really profound in this ayah or these ayat is that the mother and the father weren't mentioned by name. We didn't, we didn't read that or we didn't hear that the mother and father were mentioned in these ayat. Now, why? The person knows in this situation, if they tried to push their mother and father ahead of them, this would even earn them more anger from Allah Azza wa Jal. Because Allah Azza wa Jal has commanded us to be good to our parents. وَبِالْوَالِدِينِ إِحْسَانًا And Allah has decreed that to our parents, especially, we are righteous. No one deserves us being more righteous and more courteous and more loving towards than our parents. SubhanAllah. And this person knows if they tried to put their parents in front of them, this would earn them even more anger from Allah Azza wa Jal. So this, the absence of mentioning the mother and the father in these ayat show the status and the importance of parents in our lives, subhanAllah. It shows that if this person were to even dare try to do that, they would be punished even more. But that wasn't even something they were thinking about. 
because they knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would increase them in punishment. SubhanAllah. Allah Azza wa Jal says in another ayah, Fala taqulahuma uf. And don't even say uf to your parents. SubhanAllah. And uf is the least amount of displeasure someone could show towards their parents. Uf can be a sigh, the rolling of your eyes, something what we would think is small, but Allah Azza wa Jal says, don't even say uf. And the person this day, that when they're faced with the punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal, they know the status of the parents. And they know the status of the parents with Allah Azza wa Jal, so they don't even dare even think about trying to offer the parents as a ransom to get out of their punishment. SubhanAllah. And the status of the parents is so important in Al Islam that in numerous ayat of the Quran, Allah Azza wa Jal says, Don't worship other than Allah and be good to your parents in the same ayah. SubhanAllah. So the biggest crime a human being can commit is to make shirk with Allah, to worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah Azza wa Jal in the same ayah is mentioning the biggest crime a human being can commit mentions to be good to parents, which shows how extremely important it is for us to be good to our parents. SubhanAllah. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.